Hello everyone, I'm Masa. Today, I'm gonna show you the easiest way to make nigiri sushi. And share with you what I think is the difference between a sushi chef and an amateur. So let's get closer to being a sushi chef at home. For any type of nigiri sushi, here is what I need to prepare in advance. This is sushi rice, we call shari. I use akazu today. And this is wasabi. I use wasabi powder today. And next is important. This is tezu, which is a mixture of water and vinegar. It is important to keep my hands moist and clean to handle the rice properly. So let's make nigiri sushi. First, be sure to moisten my hands completely with tezu. I will show you what happens if I don't wet my hands enough with tezu. The rice sticks to my hands and I won't be able to make sushi properly. Once you have a lot of rice on your hands, it is very difficult to remove them. So be careful. <coughs> After completely wetting my hands, first I form the sushi rice into bowls, we call sharidama. It is said that the best weight of a sharidama is around 15 grams. Then with fish on the left hand, if you are left-handed, please use your right hand. Place wasabi on the middle of the fish, then place sharidama on the top. This is important that I make a hole in the center of the sharidama. Why do I do something like this? Let me tell you. By the way, what do you think makes sushi so delicious? One thing I believe is that when you put the fish and sushi rice in your mouth, they should come together and crumble easily. So I think a hole is made in the sharidama so that they crumble easily inside the mouth. Let's take a look at in practice. The right one with a hole and the left one without a hole. I gently try pressing the sharidama from the top. As you can see, the sharidama that created the hole began to crumble and spread out. I think this is a delicious sharidama that crumbles easily inside the mouth. Let's get back on track. I press the top and bottom of the sharidama to form its rectangular shape. And I use my fingers to make the base of the sushi flat. Then I turn sushi over, I press the sushi from sides and top to make the fish and the rice together as one. And I repeat the same process. If the shape of the sharidama is not beautiful, I use my thumb to form it. I think this is the easiest way to make nigiri sushi. This is a technique we call kotegaishi. Finally, I share with you what I think is the difference between a sushi chef and an amateur. The first is to be able to quickly make sharidama each around 15 grams. The second is to shape sushi so that the sharidama contains air. The third is to finish making each piece of the sushi quickly. It looks deceptively simple but has a lot of depths. Let's become a sushi chef at home together. So that's all. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, thumbs up and subscribe to my channel would be greatly appreciated. Arigatou!